for firearm fatalities in 2021. There were 45,222, the highest number of gun deaths ever in the U.S. Hello, my name is Alexander Guo, and I'm reporting from IS339, and I'm with Ms. Hernandez. Hello, how are you? Good. How about you? Good, thank you. Do you think gun violence will ever stop? No, I think that's uh, very difficult, um, only because of the way the gun laws are set up. They're very difficult for regular citizens to be able to obtain weapons to protect themselves, even for myself who works in law enforcement. It's a long process and they make it very difficult, as opposed to people in the street who just get them illegally. They can get them at any time, at any point. U.S. gun deaths increased from 2019 to 2020 firearm homicides, increased by 35% for the second time in three years, more than. 24,000 people died by gun suicide. Gun violence has a disproportionate impact. Black males ages 15-34 were over 20 times more likely to be a victim of gun homicide than their white counterparts. What could be done to reduce gun violence? That's a hard question um, because citizens would have to be more involved in reporting things that they see and know. But because they are afraid of retaliation, they do not. So I, I find that it's a very difficult question. How do you feel about gun violence? Like like the current situation about the Brooklyn shooting on 32nd Street? Oh, that's very scary. I mean, like I said, it's so easy for criminals to get guns and we as regular citizens, we, have, we, we don't have that ease or access to get the guns to protect ourselves. So being in a train station where you're literally trapped, that's a very scary situation. I mean, me myself have been in a situation where I've been sitting in a car and a shootout just happened literally while sitting in the car and literally had to just duck into the seats and see bullets flying and falling into the car. It's a very scary situation to be caught in. And it's kind of crazy how the guns is illegal and it's not registered and they can't Correct. track it. So it's easy, it's, they cannot be tracked. That's exactly why it's easier for the criminals to have guns as opposed to, like I said, even law enforcement. We have to go through a whole process of being fingerprinted, investigated, other people being interviewed in regards to us, our psychological state. So it's, it's hard, it's hard. What can we do as a community, community to stop gun violence? Again, another difficult question because everyone in the community has to be involved in if you see something, say something, and most, most people are not willing because of the fear of retaliation, because they live in these neighborhoods. I live in the neighborhood, so if I see something, even them knowing, oh, she works for law enforcement, just them knowing that alone in itself is scary sometimes going home, because they're like, oh, here comes the snitch, or oh, be careful with her, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so I understand why the citizens, regular Joe Blow, whatever, would be afraid to say something. I get it. Look. I understand that gun violence, I feel like gun violence will stop sooner or later because people is getting on track, like the mayor is trying to stop. You see how he got the gun violence law enforcement out on the street. So how do you feel about that? Um, you know, in theory, it sounds great. Um, in reality, I, 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 don't, I just don't think it's gonna be that easy. Thank you, Ms. Officer Hernandez for letting me interview Anytime, you're welcome. <laughs> Gun violence is a daily tragedy affecting the lives of individuals around the world. More than 500 people die every day. People who are impacted by gun violence may experience stress, depression, anxiety, and such as PTSD. States with stronger gun laws have lower rates of gun violence. Someone living in Mississippi was 8.5 times more likely to die by gun violence than someone living in Hawaii. Gun violence was the leading cause of death among children, teens, and young adults under the age of 25 young people under 30 were nearly 10 times more likely to die by firearm than from COVID-19 in 2020. My name is Kenny Angelis from IS229 and I'm here in a local store with Angel. Angel, how do you feel about gun violence? How, I, how do I feel about gun violence? Yes. Well, gun violence is not a game. It's something real serious that authority got to be, you know, more focus on that because right now it's kind of crazy out here. What makes you think this? Think about gun violence? Yeah. Well, I think about gun violence about the kids, you know. I think about me. I'm working here every day. I think more about the kids too that come here to school and you don't know who's out there playing with guns like it's a game, you know. Do you think that gun violence should be shut down? Absolutely. 
Why do you think that? Well, I think that because, you know, it's, uh, I'm talking about, I'm thinking about the safety of the kids and, and the public. People think that gun violence is, is a game. It's not, it's not a game. Okay. What, like, do you think that gun violence, like, when kids play video games, do you think it encourages, encourages them to, like, to do gun violence? Absolutely not. I don't, I don't see it that way. Because if you watch over your kids and you pay attention to what they're doing, I don't think there's going to be an issue. Okay. Um, thank you for our interview, for letting us interview you. Um, and we love your deli. All right. So, thank you. No problem. ICT 9, we out. Gun violence takes a massive toll on American children because nearly one in four American teens have witnessed a shooting in two or three months. It has been over 20,000 deaths in the past year. For the exact number, it is 24,156.